What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for coming back to the Up Next YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be going over how to have modifiers pop up on your receipts, not pop up on your receipts, or sometimes pop up on your receipts. Because we know with modifiers, a lot of modifiers sometimes aren't priced. For example, if you are working with a bagel store like we are in this scenario here, you might have a modifier for the bagel type. Sesame, plain, egg, whatever the case may be. Now, a lot of those times, the modifier doesn't change the price, but it just lets the cooks know how to make the food. Now, when you print out a payment receipt for the customer, we have a lot of complaints here that the payment receipts are way too long because of the modifiers. So we are going to show you a way where you can have specific modifiers show up on the receipt, some modifiers show up on the receipt, or none at all and just show the total price. So let's go ahead and dive into that. Step number one, we're gonna go over to the setup app, which is located right here. Go ahead and click that. Then once we're in the setup app, we're gonna go over to payment receipts. Go ahead and click payment receipts. Awesome. So now if we can scroll down to here, perfect. Now you will see the option modifiers here and under it, it says all modifiers. So for example, Swiss and wheat would show up on the payment receipt. You can see that here on the right side. Now you notice how wheat doesn't have an extra charge. It's just zero, but Swiss does. Let's say your business only wants to show the priced modifiers on your payment receipt, which is what I recommend so you can show your customers a breakdown, but there's really no need for them to see the wheat option here, especially if they're not paying anything extra for it. Go ahead and click save. You can see this picture here on the right side has changed where it only shows Swiss. Now, let's say that you just want to show your customer the total price and not show them the breakdown of everything that they're paying for. Go ahead and click modifiers again and click do not include modifiers. Go ahead and click save. Now you can see just the total of that transaction is right here or that specific item, I should say. And that's an easy way to show, remove, or keep some modifiers on your payment receipt.